I have been often asked why do I grow food on my balcony? Is it worth all the effort when we get veggies like tomatoes, potatoes for cheap from the supermarket? I'm sure most of your balcony gardeners might have also faced the same question, maybe from your friends or family, or maybe you might have asked it yourselves. I used to ignore such questions in the beginning even though I knew in the back of my mind that it is a valid question. In the last few months I've given it some thought. Let us put it out in the open today and discuss it while I show you what I could harvest from my balcony space in 2021 and also some clips of using them in my kitchen. I started growing food on my space in the year 2019. All I had was a 6 meter square shaded balcony. That time, my intention was to make my space more cozy and green, nothing more. I started by buying some saplings of tomatoes and chilies and was also growing some herbs like coriander and mint from seeds. I could harvest some veggies that year. The idea of using veggies grown on my balcony to cook some meals in my kitchen was fascinating. This motivated me big time and that's when I decided to embark on a journey in 2020 where I started growing a lot more veggies from seeds and the journey was so satisfying. From then never have I stopped growing food on my space. Self sufficiency is about being independent where you don't have to rely on anyone to live. I would love to grow veggies that my family need and one day become self sufficient. However, let me honestly tell you, it is not possible to achieve 100% self sufficiency by growing veggies on a 6 meter square balcony space. We all know that because the space is just not enough to produce the veggies or fruits that you need for an entire year. It is that simple. Although 100% self sufficiency is not possible, we can achieve some level of fit from our space. Here in Germany, coriander leaves are something that you don't get every time in the supermarket, but I need it for many dishes I cook. If I can chop a few coriander leaves from my balcony and do not have to run to the supermarket for that, that is for me some level of self sufficiency. Last year in July and August I did not have to buy any tomatoes. My balcony could produce sufficient amount of tomatoes for two persons, sometimes actually more than what we needed. Likewise, if we can achieve self sufficiency for at least one vegetable, that makes a huge difference. For example, we could decide that this year we won't buy any lettuce, but we'll produce it organically on our balcony. You will have enough lettuce fresh from the garden on demand. and that too organic without being sprayed with chemicals and believe me it is a huge difference between the lettuce harvested freshly from the garden and one from the supermarket lettuce is an easy to grow vegetable that doesn't need much sunlight so that is something that is even possible in the cooler months I may not be able to achieve 100% self sufficiency from my small space but I'm on a journey towards attaining this. My goal for this year is to try attain some self sufficiency by growing some indian veggies and reduce my dependency on indian grocery store here. I need to see if I can grow them in german weather conditions.
Sometime in the future, I wish to own a small holding where I can grow my own veggies organically. But I don't want to wait till then to start growing veggies. Already I am learning new things every growing season that by the time I get a space, I might know what I want to grow and how my garden should look like. There is a story that comes to my mind which I think is from the book The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse. In that, while walking in the woods, the boy said to the horse, I can't see my way through. To this the horse replied, Can you see the next step? To which the boy said, Yes. And the horse said, Just take that. Growing veggies on my small space is the next small step I can take now. I am a great fan of starting small. I like to grow veggies on a smaller space and then expand it slowly rather than starting off on a bigger space right away. This will only overwhelm me. Gardening on the 6 meter square balcony has made me comfortable to grow veggies on a bit more bigger space. That is why when we moved to an apartment with a ground space, I didn't have to start from zero. I knew a little bit of what I wanted to do with the space already. By the time I get comfortable to grow veggies on a fairly bigger space, I would already have some experience of growing veggies and will not be a total newbie, hopefully. This is also the reason why I tend to practice methods used by professional gardeners on my balcony like companion planting, crop rotation, polyculture, composting, even though on a very small scale. I suggest you do the same, even if you have a bigger space, start small. Start with a container or two, or maybe a single garden bed. Like the horse said, focus on the next step. Apart from the self-sufficiency factor or learning gardening, it is a very good activity. Most part of my day job, I have to work on my laptop and most of the time I am indoors. When the work becomes hectic, there are days when I sit in front of the laptop from morning till night without even taking breaks. I definitely don't feel good about myself on such days. But by maintaining a garden on the side, I am always on the move. It keeps me active even when the weather is cold outside because there is always something or the other to do on the garden. Gardening keeps me fit and more importantly I am outdoors connecting with nature. It grounds me emotionally and makes me stay happy. Gardening makes me realize how food reaches our table. There is a lot of effort going into producing each ingredient in our dish, which sometimes we don't think about or even take it for granted. I am able to appreciate the food that I am eating in a way that I never used to. Of course harvest brings joy, but that is not the ultimate goal for me to garden. Sometimes the harvest might not be good, but then I like to analyze and think about what went wrong and how I can improve next time. I love the entire creative process starting right from planning, sowing, maintaining and finally harvesting. I 
can spend a lot of time by myself alone in the garden and still not feel bored. Gardening is keeping me interested and happy. Even though we do the same things every year, it is never boring. For example, to see a seed sprout and grow into a sapling is exciting every single year. New ideas flow in every day and I am excited to wake up thinking about what to do on my balcony today. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow There's a new day to wash away the pain There's a new day to take away your sorrow Washed out by the rain Darling, you've got to keep Holding on through the night Cause I promise you this If you try to get some With this YouTube channel, I am documenting the journey of mine to achieve self-sufficiency one day and maybe encourage one or two of you to grow your own food, even if it is a basket of herbs on a windowsill. Making videos of my garden also helps me look back and see how my garden has evolved with time. I have made a lot of gardener friends on Instagram and on YouTube with whom I can discuss about my journey and take tips from, so I feel I am not alone in this journey. There's a new day to leave behind your troubles There's a new day and it will set you free There's a new day to get you through your struggle I can never see myself not gardening in the future unless life takes a whole new turn, else this is something I wish to take along with me. I know what I am doing is on a very small scale and there is a long way for me to go, but already I feel accomplished because I learn so much every day. With these clips, you might have seen what I could grow and collect from my balcony last year in 2021. To know that I have played a big part in growing all these veggies is so wonderful. So, if you ask me whether growing veggies on my small balcony was worth all the effort till now, it definitely was. And if you think you can resonate with the things that I mentioned in this video, next time someone asks you this question, send them this video. Wish you all a successful growing season this year. Happy gardening. There's a new day, it is waiting for